this part clips up and then this part comes around. Oh, yeah. and you're making knot right there? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. My name is Bianca Jimenez and I was born here in Fresno, California. I attend CARP, which is Center for Advanced Research and Technology. We have uh, 16 different career focus areas that we offer and we think that's uh, a strength for our program because it's kind of like something for everyone. Lots of choices. It's a half-day program. Students come to CART for either a 7.30 to 10.30 a.m. session or a 12.30 to 3.30 p.m. session, and the remainder of their school day happens at what we call their home high school. CART is a very hands-on school. Um, when I go back to my home school, I just uh, sit there at a normal desk, take notes, look at a book. It's not as interesting. Like here at CART, it's like you always work in a group, but you're not always working by yourself. Everybody just comes in together and just contributes to whatever you guys are doing. We are making an enrichment um, for the spot nose Gwenon. So uh, while the monkeys are trying to get the food out, it's gonna be bent in certain spots and they have to push up the certain spots to get the food out through the other end over here. The projects that they are doing, they need to know the academics behind it. Right now the kids are building enrichments for the zoo. They need to know a ton about the animal, the law, um, what's going to be safe. Are you guys just going to, are you laying the tube on the ground? No. No, it's hanging um, from their cage. Why'd you guys choose to do that? Because, because they, they don't like the ground. They don't go on the ground. <laughs> the kids have to have a big base of what it is that they're doing. So if the kids are working in the forest or they're working with birds or they're working with the greenhouse here, that they have, the, they have to build up some knowledge to get to do the kind of cool stuff, the fun stuff, the building, the testing, the designing, and those kind of things. And I think that's the motivating factor. That's the level of engagement. Nope. There's nothing. These students that are here today they know more about this project than I do. It's, this is my first year here. I'm trying to, to incorporate all the science skills as well, but they've spent the time researching these topics and all of their knowledge is, none of it has come from direct instruction where I've sat down and said, well, here are the different native species of birds we're gonna find out here on the range. Uh, they've had to do all that research. With like the super big um, nest boxing holes, like a lot of birds don't use it because it's kind of like open to the world, so. We do get into some traditional style English teaching where there might be the need for some direct instruction, but even as the students were researching, my main role was guiding them in formulating these good essential questions that they need to ask themselves. As teachers, especially in high school, we very much focus in on our one area of expertise. And I think one of our shared frustrations was that students do not see the connection between what happens in their first period social science class and their second period English class and their third period math class. And so for us, it was very important to show students how all of these things are interrelated. They tried to combine all the classes in on environmental, like our English class, like we read books about environmental issues for zoology, like we learn about like the watershed, what plants live in there. It all like fits together. Probably very few of the kids are actually gonna become zoologists, environmentalists, chemists, those kinds of things. I think it's a fun way for them to learn science, to gain confidence in public speaking. Basically, we just looked for um, the nesting material. We looked to see if there was anything in there. The showcase is a huge deal at CART, and it's a lot of pressure that you're under, a lot of pressure, and it was amazing to be put underneath that pressure because it's, it's really good to get, you know, experience that and um, learn from all your mistakes. And my hope is, is that every day in every classroom something happens that when the students get out of class they want to tell somebody about it. That it was so cool or so fun or they learned something unexpected that they want to tell their mom, they want to tell their dad, they want to tell their neighbor, they want to tell somebody about this cool thing that they learned today.